Right guys, Gaft is back with an apology to all new guys into card magic. It's been pointed out to me that I've forgotten my new subscribers. I've just assumed in the past that most of my subscribers are guys from my old channel, so they pretty much know all the moves that I know. But it's been brought to my attention. You know who you are, but I'm not going to try and pronounce your name, so I'll probably look like a bit of a Dylan. But you know who you are. Wanted a bit of help, so... I'm going to show you the good old Breaver Crimp. This is a fantastic little gimmick card, gaff card, whatever you want to call it. Pretty much every deck I use has a crimped jack of spades. Because somebody can shuffle the cards as much as they like. And you will always be able to cut your crimped card to the bottom. Right, the crimp card is a simple gimmick to build. Um, you'll take any playing card. I use the Jack of Club, Jack of Spades. I always use a Jack of Spades for a, another reason. I'll show you another day, but a lot of you guys know why. All you're going to do is uh, put your fingers, your thumbs in the middle of the card, and you're going to drag your fingers out horizontally to the corners. You're going to put your two fingers on the inside, apply a bit of pressure, and just drag your thumbs across. So what that does, I don't know if you can see in the camera, you can see a bit of a cross there. It just puts a bit of a bulge in the bottom of the card. That means wherever this card is in the deck, there will be a great big crimp that you can always cut with your thumb. Place this portion on the bottom and that crimp card will be there. A couple of good uses for the crimp card. Have a crimp card in the pack and get somebody to shuffle up. Get your friend to shuffle the cards, they will shuffle. While you're chatting off the fly, you'll just give the cards a cut, which puts your crimp on the bottom. They can now take any card they like. Let's say they have this one. The, what is it, Jack of Clubs. You could either get them to place the Jack of Clubs on the top, or you could swing cut the top portion. This is the top. Get them to place their card there. Show them once more so they don't forget. And then drop the cards on top. What you've basically done is where your crimp card is you put it on top of their card. So these cards can be cut as many times as you like. You could even give it a bit of a fake cut shuffle like this if you want. But at some point you will just use your thumb. Your thumb, if you're holding the card sort of in this sort of grip, if you just release your grip the cards will fall and your thumb will naturally hold that break where that jack is. So you can just casually cut the cards to the bottom like that, knowing that their card is now sat on top. You could reveal their card any way you like. Another great use for the crimped card, if you've got your crimped card, let's say you've got a piece of paper and you wrote down the jack of spades before time and you left it in the cellophane of the box or something. Get your friend to give the cards a shuffle. Once he shuffled the cards, he will hand them back to you. You will find your crimp, it's right here. Cut the cards at that point, put in your crimp card on the bottom. You'll do a simple Hindu force by grabbing the bottom of the deck and sliding cards off the top. Get them to call out stop whenever they like and all you're gonna do is show them the bottom card. Drop this on the pack and say, is there any way I can know what card you have seen? No way. Is there any way I could have predicted it? Not a chance. Turn over your bit of paper and boom, there is the jack of spades. So it's a great little tool. I will say if you use bicycle cards, because bicycle card stock is quite thin, you will have to top up the crimp from time to time. And if at all possible, keep the rest of the cards in good condition. If you know somebody that's going to shuffle the cards and bend them, probably not a good idea to let him shuffle because if you get too many bends in the cards, it will be hard to locate your crimp because you might cut at another sort of bent card. So just keep the rest of the cards in good condition. And that is the basic use of the card crimp. It's just a way that you can always cut that card to the bottom. Like you could do any sort of magic. If someone says, show us a trick off the fly, as long as you've got a crimp card there, you can do some great little magic with it. And it's practically invisible. There is a crimp card in there. If you just apply a bit of pressure to the deck, you can't see it. But as soon as you release pressure, 
the crimp will expose itself and you will always be able to cut with your thumb. So I hope that's clear enough for you guys. It's just a very, very versatile little gaff card in the deck. The good old breather crimp. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.